Rolling. Hi, welcome to howtohuntfoosdeal.com. We're, uh, what I'm doing here right now is I'm setting up uh, my personal water hole. And, uh, you know, out here in the desert, there's, uh, there's a lot of water holes. They're mostly cattle tanks or, or water holes that were put together by the fishing game. And, um, they're all public knowledge. They're on maps and so on and so forth. So come hunting season, these water holes are very heavily hunted. So in order to get away from the crowds and get away from the populated pita pill, uh, I mean populated uh, water holes, I, I've decided to try to build my own water hole. Uh, and I tested it out uh, with just a 10 gallon tank feeding a line, I put a, a uh, trail camera on it, and sure enough, I had deer coming to it. So I took the, that knowledge, and what I've done is I designed a little bit larger scale of that. Okay, what I've done is this is a, basically this is a, a, a heavy duty painter's uh, tray. It's got this little lip here, which is nice because it kind of protects the flip and float. And I've taken a pool float, for automatic water leveler or for evap cooler and I've uh, I drilled a hole and I placed rubber um, gaskets on the inside and on the outside and I threaded it in and then on the back side I connected on a um, another uh, bushing nipple so that it would clamp itself on this way um, I've gotten this, this is basically a um, hose that you use for a washer machine. Um, the reason why I use that is because this is pipe thread and not hose thread. Um, I believe it's, a, it's supposed to be six foot, so it's a six foot length. And that just threads onto here. Okay, and I'm not going to thread it on there right now because... I don't want to mess up my my tape that I put here. This is Teflon tape to prevent it from leaking. And then what I've done is I've designed these little nipples uh, with ball valves on them. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to tell you exactly which ones we're using because it's all going to be dependent on what tank you decide to go with. Uh, and if you can see over here, I have a 30-gallon water tank that is uh, connected to my ATV. And uh, right now it's empty. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna thread this into there, okay? And uh, the reason why it's empty is I always drive the ATV up with it empty, and then I'll put this on, shut the valve, and I'll fill it up while it's on there because it's a lot, a lot easier. It's so so much harder. I mean, when you have this is going to be a couple hundred pounds worth of water. I think water is eight pounds per gallon. It's 30 pounds, so, you know, it's uh, <coughs> pretty heavy. Um, that being said, always make sure you have enough air in your tires when you got this much weight. Um, so we'll thread this in. Get it in there nice and tight. Shut the valve. I'll fill it up. And what I've done is I have another tank. Okay, and this one's empty. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go out into the field. I'm going to set this tank up, the empty tank up, set it up with my um, my water dispenser, and we'll drive the ATV up to this tank and fill it with this one. That way, especially if you're doing this by yourself, you won't be having to try to lift a 200 pound, a 250 pound water tank off your ATV and set it and hope that it's in the right spot and so on and so forth. That way you can set this up the way you want it and do it easily. The other thing is you're going to leave this out there and you need a way to keep refilling it. Um, you know, based on evaporation or how much uh, they're getting, they're drinking from it, you're going to have to go out there, you know, every couple weeks or so to to replenish the water so you want to have a, a way to systemize how to get that in 
uh, as fast as possible. And uh, it's really nice because all I do is just take the hose from the dispenser. I shut the valve off on the one that's sitting down there. And because this is up on the ATV, it's just a gravity feed. I pull up right next to it, drop the hose into the top, open the top up, and open this up, and this will fill in pretty quickly, fill up the other tank. All right, so we're going to head out into the field, and uh, I'm going to show you how to do this, how to set this thing up.